Oh hi, it's Rob, and I'm on the back porch today with a package that I got from Battery Hookup. This is one of the Ford EV modules. This is the 30 cell version, and I got this one specifically for a project that I am working on where I need to create a 36 volt uh, battery. Now this one is I think normally rated at 110, so they have 30 cells in series. At least I think that's what it is. Man, this thing is really sealed. <laughs> uh, so my plan is to modify this to turn it from a 30S1P set to a 10S3P set that can do about 15 amp hours of t uh, time and it is for an EV type of project. It is actually a mobility project for a friend of mine who is in a wheelchair. I'll have more on the project as we go but this is the first time I've opened this and uh, yes this is, <laughs> this is definitely a hazmat battery package. Uh, they've had to take this into consideration for a lot of the packs that they have. Oh, look at this. Okay. Well, we've got the happy cardboard all around it, which is nice. Uh, make sure that it doesn't get damaged in shipping. But how to get these out? Uh, let's pull some of the cardboard first. Get a little bit better handle on it. Okay, so this is one of the modules. Yep, 30 cells. Uh, these are each 5 amp hour cells. And uh, I don't know how this is hooked up yet, but it looks like this is a positive terminal on this side. And this one is negative, which I suppose makes sense because it's a, uh, it's a pretty linear array. But we have all sorts of leads coming out of here as well. So one of the things I'm going to have to do is take this apart to see. Now I actually got, I got more than two of these because I, I have plans for them but uh, I want to make sure that I can do this first. The other idea is I mean if I can't use them for Ron's project then I'll use them for something of my own because I tend to like these. They have a lot of power in them. These are capable of some quite, uh, quite serious current when need be. Uh, it's part of the reason why the battery life is not quite as big. I mean those are some quite big cells for uh, just a five amp hour battery but they can they can want pack a good wallop. Something I noticed as I was uh, taking a look at this one if you see these cells in the middle are pushed out this way a little bit. I'm not sure why that is because the other one they're all fairly straight. So, and they don't seem to be, I mean, they're not loose. So, you know, just pushing them back by hand is not uh, doing it. So I wonder if these are expanded. I guess I'll have to take it apart and find out. But I'm going to move inside to do that because it's a little bit too warm out here. All right, moved into, well, uh, moved inside so that it's not quite so hot out. And... Uh, the dogs aren't barking all the time because they're 
The kids that live across the alley can be kind of rambunctious. They're very young, and that gets the dogs excited, and then they bark, and then there's you know people complaining because the dogs are barking. And right, first thing that I notice with this is that there are three of these proprietary connectors. Uh, I don't know if these are balance leads. I think they probably are, but uh, I'm guessing these are probably temperature probes. I don't know. There's also another connector over here that is a single uh, single conductor, and I don't know what that is. But first I want to check and see, make sure that we have a battery that is live and has some voltage on it. Uh, and see where we are here if I can actually get anything. Uh, all right, I'm not seeing anything at this point, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything real. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out how to take this apart. Now there are some bolts, there are four bolts here. Uh, holding these brackets on and a couple of it looks like either Torx yeah I think they're Torx bits uh, so let's pull these out and see how it goes okay these Torx bit or these Torx screws are T20s and these bolts on the side are seven millimeter and it's kind of nice they are marked each one of them has a black and a red mark on it too I guess make sure that it hasn't been opened. <laughs> I avoid warranties. These come off pretty easily. They're not on super tight. There's no Loctite on them. You don't need to remove this third one because that just holds on this, uh, connector, although I think I'm going to remove it because otherwise I won't be able to get this piece off properly. All of those screws are the same length, so there's no problem with getting them misconfigured if you need to put it back together again. And then we have a nice plastic shield. All right, after some finagling, I figured out that these just pop up on a latch like that and you have access to the terminals. That was a much nicer thing to discover uh, than trying to take it apart. Yeah, it looks like this This is a very flimsy plastic along here. Uh, it does just cry out. It's quite uh, flexible. I'm not sure about this one. Oh, well, I guess that is a, uh, I see got a little tab on the side here so if you press this in and pull it up it should come out just like that Looks like these zip ties come pre-cut. I don't know if that's from the salvager or what, but let's see if we can get it apart further. Okay, we have achieved the internal uh, the internal structure.
I'm going to try and remove this one as well. See if we can get this out of here and uncovered so I can take this plastic completely off. Do a little unweaving, and there we go. Okay, that's interesting. That's connector to another connector. So indeed, it looks like these are the balance leads. Uh, there are probably just a whole bunch of them because there are so many cells in this pack. And these do look like they are the possibly the thermal probes because they go in to the pack instead of being on the connection tabs. I figured out my problem with my meter. I had it set to AC volts instead of DC. But uh, well, I'm going to see if I can put this so that you can see it. It's a little more difficult than it looks, but... Uh, So I don't know if you can see that, but it's 95.4 volts across this whole set. And that's at about 3.2 volts per cell, which is pretty normal for a, a cell that's being shipped. It's kind of the, uh, the storage battery, the storage level of the cells. Uh, wouldn't want to stick my fingers across there to test it. It's just not the kind of thing that I like to do. As I'm looking at this, these are some really nice connections. They are spot welded on to these cells. Uh, just to let you know, the there's a silver, there's like a silver and a more bronze color. The more bronze color is the negative terminal. So the silver one is the positive terminal, and the more bronze one is the negative terminal on each cell. So it goes you know, this way back and forth. It's very solidly built. These are, you know, like a single piece bridged unit. Although it's, it's really interestingly made. It looks almost like it's two different colors of material that are put together in here. I find that really intriguing. And yes, the cells are just dumped a little more down in the center. You can see this kind of dip here in the uh, in this plastic piece so I think this this may have received some rough handling at some time just for the heck of it I want to check yes these cases are also live and these little bumps in here are very delicate these are evidently vents in case these things overpressure I like the case uh, the case itself is steel it's pretty heavy duty Looks like there is, I don't know if that's steel or aluminum on the side. Oh, that is steel. I think. 
Nope, this part is aluminum, but the part that wraps on it is steel. So there's a steel wrap on it, but the end pieces are aluminum for mounting. Um, I think I'm probably going to want to keep these wires for the balance leads because they are so nicely attached and I think that will go well onto a BMS. Now I should be getting a BMS soon. Trying to figure out how to take these apart is going to be a little more interesting. Uh, I know I can probably take a Dremel and cut through them, which is probably what I'm going to have to do, but I'm not going to start doing that quite yet. This was just an investigation opening up one of the cells to see what it looks like on the inside. And with that, I think I'm going to call an end to this one. So I'll put some links down in the, uh, in the description so that you can check this out for yourself. They do have a couple of models of these, at least in stock at the time I made this. Uh, who knows if they'll be in stock later. But um, I think these were a good purchase for the intent of what I want to do. All right, till next time, peace. Oh, hi, it's Rob, and I'm out here in the bright sunlight uh, with the air conditioning on behind me. And the dogs. <laughs> <laughs>